Give an offering unto Yahweh, Shem Hashem, Shem Kohal Kodesh. The bond is unto the apostles, the great millstone, and all she offers the people shining his truth in sincerity throughout the four corners of the earth. On the other side, I'm coming out here to give you this truth through the grace and mercy of Yahweh, Shem Hashem, Shem Kohal Kodesh. Let's call this video "Get Ready to Be Replaced." Yeah, these elites, they don't need a mass slave force anymore like they had within Babylon during the, after, during the times of the transatlantic slave trade. They ain't feeling to have all these bunch of people out here, man. Okay? They're getting ready to, just like I, I stated in the previous video, and I suppose I could have did this, it's two of the same videos because it's touching on a very similar topic but they ain't ready to just take everybody out okay take everyone out destroy them get them giving them wapples apple whatever you want to call it starve them out because robots don't starve <laughs> these robots they don't starve okay so if you're thinking that this is impossible, that Esau is gonna have no need for people in the in the in the near future, you got another thing coming. If you was thinking that it was a conspiracy theory that the universal basic income was gonna come, and um, the few people that they they plan to have in the NWO left on the earth, if you thought that they was gonna be just out here. Working or doing something productive, then I'm here to tell you no. I mean, haven't you watched the movies, man? These elites tell you their 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 plans for the future within their movies, and one of those plans is the mass removal of people from the earth. That's that's literally one of their plans. I mean, the previous video that I did, we went into that. I mean, they want you to have children. I mean, we ain't gonna be here in 2050. Come 2050, they don't want you to be having kids, man. There's going to be embargoes on these particular things, whether it be, um, you know, whether it, whether they do it just on, you know, on the offset, just ban you out and right outright like they did out there within China when they had that one child policy. Now you got overpopulation of men, um, because people had the preference to have male offspring. Funny that, isn't it? We're all equal, but you reduce the population down by way of the one child policy and all of them Chinese people out there they are um, they basically said look the idea of having a daughter is useless because who's going to fight for the legacy so they they won't they weren't, they weren't trying to get daughters out there but I thought everybody was equal I thought men and women were equal anyways that's a different story for a different day so they already tried they already did that out there we need more bland. And um, <clears throat> that had a certain amount of effect on what they call population control. Listen, when you, go into, when you go into understanding how vast the earth is, and you could do this, <coughs> excuse me, you could do this very easily. To understand how vast the earth is, they call it Little Britain, right? Britain, Britain is not no big landmass. It's quite small. Now, I'm in a fortunate position where I can drive quite a bit, travel, whether it be for work, for camp, or to see brothers when I got the opportunity. I get to drive right, like a good breath of the UK. And I can tell you, man, the UK is mostly empty. The UK is mostly empty. It's mostly green grass. So the notion of overpopulation is a false one. It's a false narrative. It's a lie. But they're going to sell you that so that they can achieve their agenda to really just hold everything underneath their control and better manage it because managing 12 billion people upon the face of the planet and having them all hooked up to the internet is is a totally different prospect than managing six hundred what did they say six hundred million five hundred million people on the face of the planet totally different prospect totally different 
but who's going to be the task force? Just, you know, you won't need meat packers. Um, for those people that's left, you're going to have, um, what else are they going to need? They're going to need, um, you know, people to work in the assembly line, production line, whatever the situation is. They're going to have to have particular workers. And this is where this AI business comes in. Okay. This is where this AI business comes in. To the end, to the, right now, there's particular TV programs that you watch and it's all written by the AI. I believe the House of Cards, the creation of the House of Cards was generated by way of the, I mean, correct me if I'm wrong on that, but I remember watching a thing on the House of Cards with Kevin Spacey. And I believe that was generated by the, by the AI. I might be wrong on that, but I'm pretty sure that's how the story went. So, this is the future that they want. A humanless, workless, sexless, right, dystopia of your future. It's not a utopia, it's a dystopia. Let's read a little bit of this madness. And this guy is a front guy, man. This guy ain't no genius. <laughs> Got these little entrepreneur type spirit individuals that are going to buy the Elon Musk book and see how he did it. This guy's a front guy, man. If you want resources, you need to put people in slavery. That's how it works. And your Howard Shai is going to be the top slave master. See, the Mosai has already created the, the, the best robot, right? A sentient being that follows instruction. And that's called the heathen. Okay? That's what Esau's trying to obtain. It's all about the birthright, man. All of this, all of these moves that you see, it's all about the birthright. Okay? It's all about the birthright. See, we ain't going to need the AI. We ain't going to need the robots. We ain't going to need any of this. Because we got the people to do the work. And that's you heathen. <laughs> you heathen are going to do the work. Read the book of Psalms, the 149th chapter. Read the book of... Um, all the scriptures come to mind, man. He that leads in captivity shall go into captivity. Revelations, the... Revelations, the... Um, come on, come to me. Revelations, the 13th chapter. And the... Um, the 16th verse, man. So we ain't gonna need the um AI. Okay? We don't need no AI. We 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 got the slaves, man. We don't need no creative team to um to be forced into some you know some creative not creative team to be forced. That's what we're gonna have. But we don't need no robot to do the jobs, man. We got the the the, the, the human robots, man. And they ain't gonna be no safety equipment in the kingdom. <laughs> if we want diamonds in an unsafe location, we're going to send one of the heathens to do it. Okay? It's going to be beautiful. It's going to be beautiful. We're going to have slaves. We're going to have slaves. Man. Let's read those slave scriptures. Um, am I going to be able to do that? Um, I don't know if it's going to know. But I can quote them. Okay, the book of Psalms 149, ninth chapter. Um, and um, you work down to the latter part of the scriptures. It talks about how... We shall bind their nobles with chains. Just fit as a vine. Okay? Don't need no billionaire tycoon with a five-year plan to um, outstrip us of our jobs. We ain't going to do that. We ain't going to need that. We got the slaves underneath our rulership. Read the book of Isaiah, the 60th chapter. They're going to come learn of our ways. How are they going to learn of our ways? They're going to be in subjection to us. They're going to be vassals to us. <laughs> you going to learn today. And sure enough, they're going to learn in that day, man. So hopefully, I'm, I mean, I'm rambling, but hopefully that was a verification. Okay, I know I was touching on a whole bunch of things, um, but hopefully that was a verification. We don't want to say, "Oh, praise on the Abashi Man, Shabashi Mukohaku Dash, Double Honors unto the Apostles of Great Millstone, and on the sheep brothers that be pushing the truth in sincerity." Shalom.